Right, so you read the title and now it's time for something crazy. Now, I shouldn't have these items already, especially all these hollow skulls and these leather cloths. And well, I, I, I can have these, I guess you could say. But yes, I did manage to kill my first vanquisher. Did I record it? Of course I didn't. I didn't have my thing open. But yes, we managed to kill one vanquisher. Obviously, it was it essentially loot shed. Most people did the damage. I just did what I can. But the nice thing is, if you spawn the vanquisher, you're guaranteed free never stop does whether you do damage it on it or not so that's very nice so yeah we have three here and if you can tell we're gonna be crafting something right so my heart didn't sink into the gutter because i do have enough ghasts so yes we're gonna make the ghast cloak mainly because of their health regeneration which is very nice there we go and now we can make the upgraded version which is like so just four stacks of these silver fangs don't ask me how long they took to craft because they took forever and oh i've just seen we got not only the ability which we gain one percent of our max health every second we also got life regeneration and experience one which is always helpful but yes we're gonna craft this mainly because the other items don't really suit my fancy i guess you could say i don't really want to craft them especially since we're gonna get like a belt of or sorry a implosion belt soon so we kind of don't need the blaze belt so i think the go the gas cloak is probably our best bet so we can now take off our ender armor which we've had for what 23 episodes now and yes we can put that gas cloak on there we go and we get more defense the more gas we kill which is not going to be much for now i don't know if the minions count as uh gas kills but i'm definitely not ready to take on the gas in the crimson isles because they just they, they suck okay they just suck and right the next room we're gonna make is something I'm, I'm really looking forward to so you're gonna need to grind out 20 of these hallowed skulls as you can see there there it is so all you need is 20 i have extra because if you kill us the same boss five times in a row you're not gonna get the drop so in order to get these leather cloths i had to basically reset the kill counter for the barbarian duke so here we go the ragnarok axe so it's 200 damage 70 strength and its main ability we begin a channel for three seconds and we gain 1.5 percent of this weapon strength for 10 seconds it costs 500 mana but man is this worth it there we go ragnarok axe and i have some hollow skulls to spare so we could make some more stuff in the future but for now we'll leave them in there and the last thing we're gonna make which is arguably one of the best gauntlets in the game we're gonna need to go here and i have mined out three blocks of mycelium here we go and now we can make the gauntlet of cantasia so if you don't know how to craft it it's like this and six leather cloths here like this and there we go gauntlet of cantasia so 15 strength 20 health 10 defense and if we're killing an enemy cause an explosion dealing 10 percent of their total health is damaged to all enemies within two blocks and if those enemies do blow up they also contaminate other mobs causing them to blow up which is ju it's, it's just beautiful so let's craft this hopefully we get some good attributes blaze resistance and experience one i mean i'll take the experience one you can't go wrong with it so yes this is another thing uh dev if you edit dev if you want to roll the clip real quick of me getting the flaming fist so you may be wondering how on earth did I manage to get all this awesome stuff this early on? Well, let me tell you how. So you want to come to the Crimson Isle, of course. And when you go to fight the, the Blade Soul, what you want to do is just with your Voodoo Doll, just right click him and then switch to your highest dealing damage weapon. For me, it's AOTD. And then you just want to do at least a minimum of 1 million damage. You have to get past a million damage or you won't get any rewards. Trust me, I know this from experience. I don't want to talk about it. So yeah you can just do that make sure you do a million damage and you can run off and do whatever you want it's it's as easy as that and there's a lot of people killing him so you'll get the rewards pretty soon and the same goes to the barbarian duke if we fly all the way over to here he will reside up here he's not spawned yet or maybe he is no okay so he's already been killed but it's essentially the same thing we right click with voodoo switch weapons do a million damage and then we go do what whatever we need to do i've always found this guy to be the easier one because you can literally just circle him around around you can right click switch weapon and just sort of just circle him out oh 
So speak, speaking of the guy, here he is. So yeah, it's just like that and then switch and you can literally just run this guy around in circles. It's really easy. I, I like to spam him a little bit. I, you know, I have the mana to spare. So but yeah, that's how we got all the stuff for most of this stuff. And what I did for mycelium, I just came all the way up here. The same setup as I got for the snail pet with all the speed with the snail pet. I just basically mined all this mycelium up here until I got enough. And it wasn't that much of a grind compared to the ancient cloak which was absolutely grind but yeah that's how you can get all the mycelium you need and so the gas tentacles now you know how the gases are in the in the crimson elves they're a pain in the backside to farm so what i ended up doing was just going back to the barbarian like, hideout area and what i did was I, I just managed to find some tentacle meat as a reward from one of the daily bounties so that's one thing you can look out for so i've got none here but you can eventually get some tentacle meat it i think i took me about two bounties to do it but yeah that's honestly one of the easiest ways you can get the tentacle meat you need and pretty much anything you need to be honest but yeah just make sure you're doing your dailies because they come with a lot of cool stuff so another thing we're going to craft which is going to be really useful is with these kale leaves now exactly the same as the other stuff i just got these from bounties because i am not grinding all those little guys but days on end to get a percent chance for these to drop so we need a bunch of them and we need a bunch of enchanted sulfur which i've been collecting thanks to my minion over there you can't see him but he's there oh yeah there he is so yes we're gonna craft a small never sack now it's only small but my goodness is it helpful so there we go we now have the small never sack and to upgrade it it costs uh, yeah, just a little bit more only a uh, absolute crowd time of kadalees i can't see myself getting this anytime soon but hey it now frees up this chest thank goodness so yeah it stores pretty much everything apart from this stuff as you can see here which is it's understandable i think most of this stuff probably comes from the fishing sack anyway so it's not too bad so what i think we're gonna do is actually switch factions so i know we're with the barbarians but there's so much better stuff with the mage faction so i'm pretty sure we just come over here and never mind i think we have to go talk to l all right here we go so here we go just gonna talk to us all right here we go so we're gonna grab another maddox bat phone which we need to take to one of the people in the mage faction so we need to bring this to dean of the academy in scarleton and we can obviously get set up from there so let's go right so i'm pretty sure this is the guy so if we oh yeah here we are all right here we go so after presenting the bat phone we got a letter of recommendation there we go so now we have to go to the queen and give this to the queen i guess all right here we go so it's just in the place where we were before with all the daily quests so we just have to say yes fine you may pass okay well that was easy right let's give this to the queen there we go oh we put the oh there we go all right there we go we joined the mage faction and we got zero reputation great that's fine because we'll gain that back up immediately right so now we have to go to the abiphone shop all right here's the abiphone shop it's quite discreet but here we are so let's let's have a look all right so we got 15 percent off our first abiphone now i'm i'm no rich man so we'll, we'll guess we could go yeah there's literally no difference between these two this one we got two discs but we'll just go for the abiphone 10 plus there we go all right so our brand new abiphone we now have to call dean there we go all right so now we have to find l which is probably all the way back at the spawn so oh yeah speak of the devil there she is there we go we got l's contact which is pretty nice i guess all right now we've got to follow l so i'll see you guys in about a couple of hours all right here we go we've come all the way over here so let's talk to her again all right i found it it's right Right there i just need to not get caught on this last bit right there we go we got it sweet oh now we gotta wait for a phone call from l can i just not call her it's that that'd be much simpler oh here we go well i'm cooler than i look thanks l that's very kind of you oh okay all we had to do was call him to actually get it done so that's nice and now we just have to go to the mage council never mind it's down here oh boy i'm i'm officially sat at the desk all right so we've got to meet dean at the academy sweet all right here he is all right, now we need to find his apprentice, which is north of the Red Desert. So we, we shouldn't miss him, I don't think, if we just sort of fly over there with AOTAE. Oh, and there they are. All right, so he's sort of invisible. He's like around here-ish. So now we need to call for help. I'm pretty sure we have to call Captain at home. All right, let's wait for help to arrive. It's okay, invisible buddy. You'll Oh, never mind. There's blood right here. All right, let's just... Oh, oh, here they are. 
took their time and my guy just <laughs> splashing invisible stuff okay and now we go talk to dean let's go all the way back all right here he is okay so we need 10 magma chunks and five burning eyes i'm pretty sure i have the burning eyes but not the magma chunks I only need one more magma chunk. This is so sad. And we need the burning eyes, which are... Well, here I go grinding again. All right, and we have all the stuff we need. So there we go. Right, there we go. We're now unfriendly. Okay, cool. So I guess these guys won't attack me now. So we need to find someone else. Okay, this way. Ah, here we go. Ingram the chicken farmer. Or Ig Igripan. That's it. Oh no, the chickens are gone. That's so sad. All right, so I guess I've got to I've gotta find all the chickens, which I'm pretty sure are a pain in the back. So I was right. Here's, here's Henrietta. There we go. There's one. There we go. And there's one right on top of here. And there's three. I'm pretty sure there's five overall. So we've got to keep looking. Oh yeah, there's one. Oh, there we go. It was only five. We just got to talk to him again. Sweet. Now we've got to talk to Odexa. Oh, there they are. All right. Hello there. All right, here's the... He's going to give us a stonefish. Nice. I'm pretty sure I have like five of these, but sure. All right, let's go visit Odger. All right, here we go. Odger, it's for the quest. <laughs> yep, bad. Small, rare, damaged. No talent. No style. <laughs> Unlucky. Find a, a volcanic stonefish. Well, I don't think I need to find one because I might already have one. I have three. There we go. Uh, fra framed volcanic stonefish. There we go. Awesome. There we go. All right, now I have to talk to Dean sweet all right a few extra components you say tougher to obtain okay so we've got to give a hollow skull to dean now luckily we have a bunch of them already stored up so let's give him a hollow skull there you go all right he's gonna need a, a lumino fiber now this is killed from one of the hardest bosses in the game called ashfang but if you've been doing your quests you might have one or two already and i definitely have two so let's give him one of these hey man there you go i'm right he needs a leather cloth off. oh i don't have any of them ah okay well let's go kill a barbarian duke real quick all right so we've got the leather cloth let's give it to dean there you go all right let's talk to captain afon all right Ahon's down here let's talk to him all right we go go to the forgotten soul which is the kudra boss i'm pretty sure and yet here we are all right let's talk to l all right now we have to do the basic two of kudra oh boy here we go all right and my team were absolutely absolutely crazy and i said absolutely twice but uh oh great so precious mana and the hollow wand um yeah not what i want but since i don't have the hollow one i'm just gonna pick it up i i need the crimson essence so screw it i'm gonna i'm gonna grab it and you never know this, this thing might be good i don't know but yeah sweet now that's that done and now we talk to dean and there we go we've completed the mage storyline and uh our reputation is hostile which is fair enough because we still had a load of reputation with the barbarian so that's kind of fair enough so now we just do i was gonna say these bounties but apparently we can't probably because we're hostile so i might have to go ruin my reputation with the barbarians to actually get access to those quests but yeah let's go and right something i remembered from the bit store we can get abaphone cases which don't actually go over the abaphone but they are essentially talismans so we could get one if we wanted to so the samsung cases give you magical power per two contact and they give you an extra one or two contact the reza habit cases they reduce the phone calling time from a single ring and they give you the magical power per two contact and the blue cases which are the most interesting because they give you wisdom on any of the skills you want but problem is you can only have one at a time so it's probably best to just have one of every single one of these and just swap it out depending on what we're doing but i think for now we're probably going to grab this one i mean that's probably the best case scenario there we go and there we go it's sitting smug there so i think i'll probably we'll get some more in the future but for now that'll do all right so that's going to be it for this video thank you all so much for watching if you did like this video smash that like button down below remember to subscribe to my channel to see more future content like this make sure you go in the description check out on my social media make sure you join the viking cyber guard community discord and yeah see you in my next video goodbye everyone may the force be with you